<laughs> Number one. Now, look at your exponent properties. Okay, what do I do here if I have a power to a power? What do you do with the exponent? Multiply. Multiply. So you're going to take any one to the one fourth times four, which gives you four over four, which is what? 81 to the first, or just 81. Okay? That's it for number one. Number one. That's the answer. Let's simplify. Now, let's do number eight. When you have two Bases that are the same, what do you do to their exponents? And you're multiplying, what do you do to their exponents? You add them together. So what are my two exponents that I need to add together? Yeah, I mean technically this is y to the first, correct? So I'm going to take 2 times y to the 1 half plus 1. Well, replace your one, your 1 with the 2 over 2, like Tyson had said earlier. Okay, and that just gives me 3 over 2. One. Common denominator. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Now I need to show you something, okay? What's another way to write something with a fractional exponent? Yeah, write it with a, ra with a radical, okay? So I'm going to have 2 times square root of y cubed. How can I re rewrite y cubed so I can cancel it out? How can I rewrite y cubed? You take, a y, you do, take a y out of that? We can do y squared y times y first. Y squared times y. Y squared times y. I didn't hear, I heard a couple, but 2 times square root of y squared times y. Square root, and you pull out a y, right. But if you look at that answer, here's what I want you to see. Go back and take that answer and look at the top. What did they do? All they did is just put the, the y to the one half inside the radical. So tomorrow, when you take your quiz, you need to understand that that. That and that, those three things are the same. You may have this answer written on your paper, but the answer I have for multiple choice is this. You understand? So you need to be able to switch in your head, okay, which one do I need? I have this written, but why isn't that not an answer choice? Well, your answer may not be wrong. You may just have it written differently. Will we be able to use our notes? You're allowed to use your homework? And this cheat sheet. Okay. Well, okay, so let's do the next one. Whoops. Number 14. I'm going to rewrite this so I can multiply my 3 and 4 together. Okay, so I have 3 times 4 and x to the 1 half when you have a base that's the same, what do you do to the exponents? Add. add the exponents. I can add the exponent to this x. So this is going to change to 12, and then I have x to the 1 half plus 2 thirds. What's the problem? Why can't I add those? Denominators aren't the same. I need a common denominator. When you're adding fractions, you need a common denominator. What is the common denominator for 3 and 2? 6. So I'm going to put 
12 times x to the, I'm going to change it to the 6. Oh, it's not 1. So one both have a denominator of 6. How do you get 2? 6. What do you multiply by? 3, so multiply the top by 3 as well. How do you get from 3 to 6? Multiply by 2. 2 times 2? Now, once you have them rewritten with a co as a common denominator, Missy, what do I do? Yeah, add the top numbers. Okay, so the 3 and the 4. So this is just going to give me x to the 7 over 6. Now, this is an improper fraction, meaning you're going to be able to reduce this. Because you're going to have the 6 root of x to the 7. So go ahead and do that. So I have 12 times sixth root of x to the seventh power. How who have I picked up today? Clay. How can I rewrite x to the seventh power so that I can <coughs> cancel them out? What was the question? I want to rewrite this x this radical part right here so that I have a sixth root underneath. I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> Alright, Tori. What do you do with seven to the fifth power times x? How about x to the 6th power times x? Uh, you said 7 to the 6th power. Why? Okay. Yeah. Because so now look. I have a 6th root to the 6th power. Cancel those things out and bring out your x. So you have 12x times the 6th root of x. Wouldn't it just be the square root of x? Because the 6 is already there. Oh, just the 6, remember, this is the 6th root of x to the 6 times the 6th root of x. negative 6 to each part. But what I would like to do first is to get rid of the negative in the 6. So how do I get rid of this negative? What do I do? That negative 6. Yeah, put everything in parentheses on the bottom. Get rid of the negative 6. The negative in the 6. So I have 1 over a to the 2 thirds b negative 1 half. The 6th power. Now go ahead and distribute. When you distribute or you have a power to a power, what do you do to the exponents? Multiply. Okay, you're going to multiply it. Okay, I'm going to take this a to the two thirds times six, six over one, so it's a fraction form, b to the six. Power, and then I have negative one half to the sixth power. And multiply, multiply your exponents. I have one over a to the twelve. Mary the top, Mary the bottoms. Twelve over three. B to the six. Now what do I do here? Look at your property. Look at property number five. What do I do, Riley? Uh, the nine and the number we get out. What's that? You put the six with the one and the two. Yeah, you're going to distribute that six, so you have negative one to the six. Okay, over 2 to the 6. What's 12 divided by 3, Drew? Yeah, so I have 1 over a to the 4th, b to the 6th, then I have 1 
negative 1 to the 6 is just 1. 2 to the 6 is 64. Now, I do not want a fraction over a fraction. How do I get rid of that fraction over a fraction? This is the same thing as 1 over a to the 4th, b to the 6th, divided by 1 over 64. So when you divide a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal. So what's the, what's the second number? Mary the top, Mary the bottom. You get 64 over a to the fourth, b to the sixth. What do I do to the exponents, Kiana? You're dividing fractions with the same base, or uh, exponents with the powers with the same base. Look at number four on your property sheet. What do you do to the exponents? What did they do to M and N? Yeah, so what do I do to the four sevenths and two thirds? Yeah, so this is just going to give me x to the four sevenths minus two thirds. Subtract the what's the problem though? I can't subtract those because what's the matter with it, Tyson? Uh, it's not the same denominator. Yeah, I need a common denominator. So what is a common denominator for this one? 21. How do I get from 3 to 21? Times 7. So 2 times 7. How do I get from 7 to 21? Times three, four times three. Now that I have a common denominator, what do I do, Abril? Um, okay. When you subtract fractions with common denominator, oh, you add the top. Well, in this case, oh, minus the top. Yeah, right. so twelve minus fourteen. Yeah, it's gonna be negative two over twenty-one. Since I don't want a negative. Exponent, so what do I have to do? Yeah. Now, this is one answer that's possible. The problem is, I have a fractional exponent, right, which is technically a radical on the bottom. Correct? I don't want radicals on the bottom. So, suppose that you, you have this as an answer and that's not in an option. So, what's another way to rewrite this? How could I start? No. Put it in radical form and get rid of it. Okay, so what is radical form? 21 roots of x squared. How do I make x squared x to the 21st power? What do I have to multiply by? 21st root of x to the... How many more do I need to get to 21? 19. So now what's going to happen is since the roots are the, the index numbers are the same, I can add the exponents on the ins inside. So I'm going to have the 21st root of x to the 21st. And then I'm going to have the 21st root of x to the 19th on the top. The bottom just works. Yeah, the bottom will turn into x. Correct. And that, that would be another way to write it. Okay, so this might be the answer that you didn't have, but you did, but you just didn't rewrite it. Okay, so it could be. I'm not going to write it from the bottom. What's another way to write this one? What if it looks like this? Could be that if you want. 
Okay? Questions? You can work on that worksheet right now. That will help you for your quiz tomorrow. Okay? I can display the answer before. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. You can see if you can do them. That way you know if you're ready for the quiz. Okay? You have a little over 10 minutes. I don't want any talking. You did the